At the outset, let me thank Mr. Rajana for inviting me to this event, wherein two days you have spent deliberating on various technical aspects of it, how to take the technology to the uh, expanded domains of it, and take the information technology, particularly the products and technologies, into a higher, uh, greater heights. Look at uh, the information technology, particularly we working on the technological aspects of the defense. Look at the industrial age has now become completely the information age. In many aspects of the society, it's, uh, look at any part of the society and any walk of the life, it's the information which has become very, very important and relevant today. So is any sector, including the defense sector. We have an industry base here at Hyderabad particularly. We have about more than 300 industries working for us, out of which there are about 60 to 70 industries are IT industry, working for the defense. Look at about 20, 25 years back, defense, particularly in the IT area, was almost nil. We didn't have anything much. It was most of the hardware and things like that. You are always looking for a war, and war is at the geographical borders, and you are not looking at the other side. But today, if you look at the defense sector, particularly me being from defense sector and the topic what the organizers have asked me to talk also being the defense sector, the scenario is completely different today. We talk of network-centric warfare, we talk of cyber warfare, we talk of information warfare. This is what is where a lot of R&D goes in, a lot of activities are going on. Look at a particular program, a air defense application, means you are trying to destroy enemy incoming missile right at a height of about 100 kilometers or so. What is the type of information flow what you require? You have a satellite which is giving you complete, continuous, real-time, reliable information that there is a launch taking place from the enemy side. There is a long-range radar which is tracking it continuously, giving you real-time information. You have a complete network of your stations across the country which are linked in a real-time data network with redundant multiple channels of satellite communication, fiber network, or other ways of communication, which are continuously getting the information what is happening every uh, millisecond in a real time. Then you are estimating, you are collecting the information from multiple sources. There are multiple radars available. Multiple radars are giving the information. You are all collecting, you are fusing the information, you are trying to find out the right information, you are trying to take the correct information, reliable information, trying to estimate what is the type of a target you have. And then you have a command control system. The command control system is again continuously going through the information available. You are estimating what is the type of target coming. You have a target identification information. You have a complete database available. You are likely to look at what is the type of a target coming. You need to identify what type of a target it is. And it can be a friendly target also, it can be an enemy target also. You have to distinguish between them and alert your neck various centers which are across. And then the close by the mission computer systems which analyze the data, which estimate the trajectory of the fellow which is coming into the uh, territory of Indian soil. You are trying to look at your real time, you are estimating and then launching your fellow which can intercept it at a height of, let's say, 100, meter, 100 kilometers, and you are trying to estimate in real time how it can go and how it can hit and what time you have to launch and what altitude it has to hit. This is a complete information flow from uh, sensors of about maybe 20, 25 sensors, which the information is flowing in real time. And then using that information, you are trying to do this whole operation. This is what one air defense application means, the amount of information flow what takes place and information, information deduction, right information deduction, you are trying to see the reliable information, this is what it is. This is how a network-centric warfare today, that's what people talk of C4I, 
and add it to various integration techniques. I'm trying to see how the speed of the network you can increase, how the uh, information security can make. This is the most important. Today in the war scenario, if you have, you have a decisive edge, if you have an advantage in the information, you have an prior information, you have a more reliable information, yes, you have a decisive edge over the uh, other enemy, enemy which you are facing today. So it is information which is required, and that is where could be various types of information. I am only talking about the census-related information, which are giving you actual physical information today. Similarly, look at any network. Network, any network, if I want to, without physical destroying, like to do some uh, damage to the enemy, uh, make the enemy immobile, attack any type of a network which is there in the country, sufficient, right from power grid. If the synchronization of the power grid, which is connected to a synchronized system, where the data flow is completely available to the timing network of the country, you are able to destroy it. The complete country, you are making it immobile, powerless. That is where the things are working on. The cyber warfare. There's a lot of R&D. We were also just now discussing how Chinese and others are working on this. Various countries and various agencies are working because the cyber warfare doesn't have a geographical border. He can be sitting next to you, or he can be sitting in South America and trying to do something to you. You must have heard about two months back, where the complete, the Indian government embassy network has been hacked. This is what people are working in the cyber warfare. This is where the defense forces are getting into this type of a information technology, R&D domain, trying to improve various aspects of it, how you make your network secure, how you make your data very reliable, is the R&D what uh, continuously goes on. Leaving aside various other aspects, what I see is the aircraft is launching a missile, you have a communication to that, and then you are managing the whole uh, data, whole resource of information from ground and coming from various other sources, or coming from an AVAX aircraft, or coming from a satellite, sort of information managing. Or electronic warfare, you have in a ship where you have a complete uh, radar system and the software managing and trying to uh, play with the enemy technologies what he has got. These are all little old compared to what I am talking today. This is where we need to work with the IT industry more and more. Look at today, the laboratory what I have come from RCI. We have uh, two domains of work. One is the management related work what the IT enabled services versus the ERP, whether the PLM or the e-governance or various other aspects of it where we are using it for the complete uh, material management or inventory management or administration or various other aspects of it or HR management, everything is being used with the ERP. And the same I think the TCS has worked with us in that particular process, TCS and CMC. The other side is the a complete software, information, the database of the targets, target identification, imaging, image systems, and the images of the various targets, the updating of the image of the targets, and the aging of the targets, and that sort of information what we have, what you need, and use it in the launch computing and the networking and networking of the various launch complexes what we have. That is where you are looking for a complete update of the technologies, a high-speed network, high-speed processing systems, and secured information. There's a complete one laboratory working in DRDO, which is working on secured data networks. A laboratory in Bangalore, the job of it is only how to make it so secured and your data is not a garbled message or a malified intention. You look at the information what we use today in GPS. We all use the GPS leaving aside the techniques of GPS being jammed. The GPS continuously can be spoofed or can, can be miconned. You can be totally made off. You must have heard a recent news about 15 days back in Iraq, in Iran, a drone of American drone has been controlled by the Iraqis, by, by Iranis, by spoofing the system made the system travel back to uh, Iran and land it in a particular location where they wanted. This is what Iran has done in Americans. 
this is the type of spoofing techniques what people are working on today. This just happened about a month back. These are the techniques. So that is where we also look upon you, leaving aside various uh, social aspects where we need to do. This is where defense, defense R&D is looking towards the IT industry, come out with many more technologies, fast computing techniques, fast data networks. You must have heard the Airbus uses uh, 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 data communication within the Airbus, which is called AFDX, Advanced Full Duplex System, which compared to the other system, which was running only at about 10 megahertz, it goes to 100 megahertz to 1 gigahertz type of a speed. The information flow, because it's a multi-process system, what you have everywhere there. That is the type of continuous update what we are looking for in this type of a technologies. I'm sure you'll be able to come out with many more solutions, work with us, and make the defense of the country much more stronger and much more reliable and protect the nation. I just didn't want to get into the other uh, social aspects of it, whether the IT, how much it has to go to the villages and rural population, which is about 72% of today, how it can be used for the farmers or crops and when the uh, valuation of the crops and other things are coming to ration or the education in the school where the school children, uh, teachers are not, good teachers are not available in the schools where many of the teachers are trying to go into the urban areas and how can you use the IT in real time. Uh, teaching can happen into the schools and all that sort of applications. Many people, uh, many products what are here probably looking into it. I just wanted to concentrate on the defense. That's how we can work together, make the country stronger. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.